happy Sunday. Guess who I have with me here today? It's my baby, my boo of light. See this. My. See this. Yeah. I will be nicer. No, but I like the whole expression of not really posing and stuff. Really? Let's see this. Some natural shots I always get you on. Some shots that you don't plan for. This boy swears he's like a photographer. But, so basically, I just wanted to um, just encourage you guys in the Lord today. It's a Sunday. It's an inspirational day. It's about sharing how difficult things are for you. you know, how you wake up sad every morning. But something keeps you going. You hold on to something. I think those are the important things that people want to hear. Because I personally believe that people want to identify with others about the troubles they're going through. Your life is not rosy at the moment. But life is good. Life is beautiful. Two different things. Life is not rosy. Being that life is not how you want it to be. But you in particular are going through a very, very difficult time. You know, things that bring tears to your eyes. Things that make you wake up sad. You know, I believe in encouraging others. It's not just about telling them it's going to be fine. Sometimes we don't want to hear that. But we want to know that you know, it's a difficult time. You know, we all have challenges. It's a difficult time. Concerning your career, it's a difficult time. A very, very difficult time. Something you think about and tears roll down, roll down your faces. You know, so I, I, I believe that you know there's all there are people out there going through a difficult phase. But you just have to hold on to God. I didn't need to share what happened this morning when you woke up this morning. You didn't want to come to church. Like I really didn't want to come to church and I've not been to church um, in, three in three weeks. Um, even when I woke up this morning, I was so sad. I was down and um, I wanted to watch church online. But my babe, um, he encouraged me and told me, you know, I just can't give up yet. And um, the house of the Lord is the best place to be, basically. So thanks for letting me come to church today. Um, look, you now look beautiful today. Very, very beautiful. Oh, you look handsome too. What are you wearing? I'm wearing this nice outfit from uh, made from Nigeria. It wasn't the color what I wanted. It was. I guess it wasn't that. It wasn't that terrible at the moment. But in addition to everything, you know, there's a, there's a reassurance I, I have in trust in God. Just me, I, I grew up to know only Christ, to know only God. And I know that when you face challenges, the only person you can call on to is, is, is God. And many times, it seems like as if it's not our prayers. She's been praying about something for so long. You know, believing in God and it is not happening yet. But that's not an excuse to say that God is not going to do it. And it's not an excuse to say that God is not faithful. He is indeed faithful. We don't know why. We could be asking our, our mess. We could be asking for the wrong things. I have my own personal experience of something I've been I asked for for two and a half years. But it got to a point that I knew that what I was asking for was the wrong thing entirely because she has a better plan for us. Our, situ our own situation might not be exactly the same thing, but what I know for sure is that God he is faithful. And the funny thing is that for God to be faithful is not based on us being faithful to Him. It's not based on what we do. He's indeed faithful no matter what happens. No matter so what. But it's just it tough, you know. Sometimes you look at even the unbelievers are doing really well, and you're like, you're like telling yourself like, okay. I know God, I'm a believer, and all this stuff is happening to me. Sometimes I just feel like God make you um, go, go through situations because he wants to um, like exalt himself in your situation. And basically, you could, um, for other people who are going through the same situation that you're going through, you could encourage them and tell them your story and let them know of how um, you, know, you became an overcomer and how God blessed you through the situation. So, Yeah, in addition we all strive for something and most of the things we strive for is for our own their own desires but i need everybody to know that 
God created us for his own pleasure. What we want for ourselves may not be what God wants for us. So God's plan and God's desires, God's wishes, supersedes, trumps our own desires. So when things don't happen, when things don't work, it could be because, you know, the devil doesn't want it to happen. It could be because it's not the plan and purpose for your life. The important thing is that surrender everything to God. Make, make your supplications known to God. And he said, he who is the creator of heaven and the earth, he who is the who watches over uh, uh, Israel, who does not sleep and slumber, is our help. He's the one that will help us in whatever situation. Just lay everything in hands. And I believe, you know, that's the only thing I personally am writing on. Finally, what I want to say is that during a tough time, it's the time that God is using to, to build your character. It's the time that God is using to redefine you. You know, I heard something recently that, you know, when you're, when gold is being mined, it comes in a very rough face. But before it becomes something shiny, something beautiful, it goes through the furnace. And mm. furnace is something that is hot, oh, very oh uncomfortable. Yeah. And the and, and the um, the analogy I got was, you know, if you live in a if you live in a um, temperate country where during the winter is very cold and you stay near the heater or near the radiator, you can't stay close to it one or five minutes and you feel very very uncomfortable. And how very that is just slightly slightly very very uh, not very very hot slightly hot imagine how the furnace that is used to melt metals and that is how gold is made that's how gold is purified that's how it's made it's beautiful so when you're going through a difficult phase just know that something great is locking nearby so my own submission is keep trusting god even in the face of trouble as you see both of us now we have so many things we are praying to God and hoping for God to give us to give to us to deliver us but we are looking up to God aligning ourselves to God's plan and purpose another thing is just keeping a positive attitude I think that's one of the things that I'm starting to learn um, not to be fearful um, it's, and also just having a positive attitude towards everything and just not letting your situation um basically take over your day or basically take over your life so um i pray that god answers all of us and he blesses us with our heart desires um take care guys and have a blessed sunday